Hello and welcome. This is Archetype Incorporated. Today's item is this News Electrical Pocket Book. Now, this may not seem like the most supremely interesting of items, but it's an electrical pocket book that is from uh, a year that I have forgotten. But in the meantime, I'll explain to you why it's so interesting. This was from a year which was before computers and stuff like that. There we go, 1960. So it was like around the time when, you know, sort of the early tube computers were about. But yeah, this is sort of the conceptions in this are completely you know, different from the way they are nowadays. And it's really intriguing. You can't use it at all nowadays. If you gave this to an electrician, they would do something quite silly. But yeah. is the presentation of an inconvenient form of facts, blah, 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 blah. And the thing is, uh, I can't remember where it says it. Let me see if we can find it. It's very difficult to do this while you're wearing gloves. But, uh... Somewhere in here, it mentions a new superconducting material, silicon. And that's really very, very intriguing to have a book from before stuff that we, you know, hold to be common knowledge nowadays was about. It's sort of like a an odd sort of book-based time machine or a book-based dimensional machine. Oh, I wonder if... Someone's made a game about that cough, missed cough. Anyway, uh, see, it's got my like, energy meters. Let's see if I can flick through and find something which is sort of really high frequency heating. What's that? Characteristic for series trip coil with oil dash pot. Now, that does sound like a YouTube show in itself. Welcome to Characteristic for Series Trip Coil with Oil Dash Pot. Hello, I'm Oil Dash Pot. I've got a silly name. Yes, you have. Uh, power Generation Fuel Cell. Uh, nuclear Power Blows You Up. Very dangerous, uh, if you didn't know already. Uh, British Regulations for Overhead Lines. You know, Standard Aluminium Conductors Star. Um, aluminium Overhead Lines. I don't know if we use what are our overhead lines made out of. I don't know, it probably varies from country to country. Um, in Russia they're probably made out of paper or something. I don't know. Uh, British standard copper conductor solid and stranded circular. I don't know what it's saying. But there are a lot of numbers to go with it, so it's probably important. Zero one zero four six is good for you. Now, uh, it's not. It's really terrible. You should be careful with the number zero one zero four six. Uh, four methods of mounting five foot fluorescent lamps. A continuous trough over centre line of bench. Okay. B is train tracks a is a road b is train tracks c is train tracks for drunk people and d is someone who's got the point completely missed you have to have either train or road you can't have both it's cheating it's against the rules it's also very you cause flattenment installing of accessories and current using apparatus this reminds me of Countdown, when they get that sort of camera on a stick, and then they look at the, look at the thing. Special noun, a name for someone in the sky, or, you know, the type of thing that they come up with. Um, British regulations for overhead lines. So it has got a lot of stuff about, you know, regulations. Minimum ground clearances at 122 Fahrenheit, or... Probably something like, oh, 122 Fahrenheit, maybe like 36, 37 degrees, 40 degrees, I don't know. 40 degrees, regular temperatures. Um, yeah, I think you'll be able to tell what I think of Fahrenheit by me saying that. Aluminium sheets, ooh, naughty. Uh, transformers, equivalent circuits, uh, voltage, 
Oh, look at all that. I know nothing about um, electrical, so this is very new to me. Uh, I have looked at the book before, but it's still sort of, when I look at it, it sort of turns into a sort of a weird sort of buzzing noise in my head. Group number one, phase displacement equals zero degrees. Group number two, phase displacement, uh, a lot more degrees. Uh, notice that degrees makes them turn upside down in some cases. See, look, there it is at zero. There it is at more than zero. There it is at that much. There it is there. 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 Uh, yeah, it is mainly upside downness that occurs. You know, all of that line is just, oh, we're being different today. Um, oh, it's. Ooh, it happens here too. So it can even happen to the best of us. Even him. His name is Herbert. But yeah, it is very, very intriguing to find a book, you know, sort of before our era. I know there are loads of books from before our era, but electricity and sort of stuff like that is the thing that has changed the most dramatically in, you know, over time. It's scary how much different it is now to what it is then, according to this. If you find yourself a copy of this, especially if you find it from earlier, even, because... Um, I'll find the additions list again. How is it? Talk amongst yourselves. Master Faffing. There we go. 1937, even. So, you know, if you manage to find... I'll just keep that there for a second. If you manage, manage to find them from those years, then that'll be very intriguing as well, because you'll be able to see what it was, you know, in those years. It does even say, you know, the knowledge in this one is new, and the old ones probably won't be useful to you anymore because of what we've discovered um so yeah if you've got those years there it's the it's got the thing the wrong way around i think it was made by someone left-handed um yeah you just make it out newton's electrical pocket book if you manage to find one get it it's very interesting well at least i think it's very interesting Hmm, yes. Upside down. I shall remember if I'm warm to stand on my head.